Hey, what's good, everybody? Paul here, Left Coast Model Car Builds. Thought I'd get a, another little video in here on one of my builds. So this is uh, one of AMT 68 Camaros that was recently re-released. Uh, overall, not bad. It's uh, one of those kits, for those of you who've been building for a while, you probably all have at least that one kit that you have a love-hate relationship with. This is definitely mine, going back to uh, probably when, about when I first got into building. One of the guys in the model car club had one of these built up. <clears throat> Beautiful pearl white, lowered with some old uh, Fujimi wheels. Um, and it's just been one of those builds that you see of somebody's that is always kind of one of your favorites. And that was kind of it for me. Um, so for a number of years, man, I can't I can't tell you how many of those kits I kind of went through. And some of them were bad, but it just wasn't what I was looking for. So they all ultimately probably got junked. I came across two of them not too long ago out in the shed boxed up that are like 80% done. They were pretty nice, but you know, you're going back to when I was probably about 13, 14 years old. Um, so I definitely see some differences, but, uh, this one initially I kind of was going down that road. It was for an Instagram build I was doing, I think it was a one or two month build. So I really didn't get to focus in on some areas of this model that could use, you know, some more attention. Um, and man, even this one gave me a number of problems. As you can kind of see here, I've molded in the front and rear pans. Uh, you know, got them used some weld on and then scuffed it down, hit it with some Evercoat, and then primered and blocked it. Took off the emblems, the door handles, and same thing with that. Just uh, a lot of times for those, depending on how deep they are. Um, I'll either sand them off or take an exacto blade, cut them off, and then sand them off. Some plastics seem to have that memory where you can see through it. This one didn't. Sometimes I'll take and almost uh, actually grind it out a little and fill it. But these ones, nothing really popped back through. Um, initially, I had this, I think it was uh, Platinum Pearl by House of Colors, but I had some issues with the paint. So I knocked it down and was going to do a simple black since the body was pretty straight. And I had some more issues with that. So it ultimately got knocked down and uh, came across this uh, champagne or gold that was uh, left over. Something my father had used at the shop when they were doing a touch-up job on a Mercedes. So it's actually a Mercedes uh, gold and it's got some Deltron clear over it now uh, the interior you can't really let's see if we can zoom in I don't know if you can yeah you can't really tell it's got some photo etch details uh, photo etched handles inside flocking on the carpet the package tray back here uh, and the top of the dash actually had some is flocked as well I don't think I did the headliner on this one some of them will do the headliners as well. Um, yeah, wheels were pretty nice on them. I went ahead and used some aluminum. I think it was aluminum or steel. Kind of do the base of the rallies. Left the center caps and the trim rings chrome. Otherwise, pretty much built from the box. Other than some of those added details. Um, this is one, at least from... Yeah, not a lot down there either. Just see the battery cable running. Um, you know, I think to do it right, you kind of have to notch out the firewall to get a distributor in. The way it is with the, how tight it is in there. So I didn't, I ran out of time to do that. Went ahead and added a braided line for the upper and lower hoses. Got the battery cables running. Uh, but otherwise, all pretty much how it is. Blacked out the grill, but I think I might actually go back and do a little more on that. 
Like I say, this was kind of a quick build. Uh, not a lot else to say about it. It was fun. Glad I did it. Um, almost gave up a few times, but kind of kept pushing through and have some ideas now when I do take and take my time, build a really nice one. Kind of have no, more ideas of what to watch for and where to fix a few things ahead of time. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy the builds. Uh, feel free to leave comments, questions, anything else going on. You know, if you like the stuff, subscribe and uh, we'll keep it going. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.